So hey, this is uh, Robin from tech.eu. I'm still here in Stockholm, Sweden, getting a whirlwind tour of startups uh, here. And I'm one of the at the most one of the most exciting tech companies um, coming out of Stockholm for sure is Klarna. Um, Sebastian, can you quickly introduce yourself and the company? Sure. So I'm um, Sebastian Sviskowski. I'm the co-founder of Klarna with uh, two, uh, two other co-founders. Uh, Klarna is a payments company that is truly making it simpler and safer to buy online, making it extremely simplistic, which means that merchants have huge increase in sales when they sign up with Klarna. Right. Um, more specific about the, the products that you offer to merchants, um, what type of solutions do you offer today? Um, so our primary product today, I would say, is the Klarna Checkout, um, which basically is a one integration stop shop where you get access to all the local payment methods in, in the European com countries that we cover. And uh, among them are like, you know, there's the support, the Visa, Mastercard, but primarily also Klarna invoice and you know, account, which is a, a post-payment, pay-after-delivery type of purchase uh, method that is very, very popular and that more than 50% of uh, Swedish and German people prefer to pay with. Right. So you're, you mentioned Sweden and Germany. Uh, which other markets are you? So today, uh, Klarna's group is in 15 countries, but primarily in, in seven, which is the uh, Nordics, Norway, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, and Germany, Netherlands, and Austria. Right. Um, in Germany, you uh, recently acquired a company called Sofort. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain a little bit the reasoning about the acquisition and what it... Sure. Well, first of all, there's fantastic people at Sofort. So, I mean, joining forces with them felt very, very natural from that point of perspective. But Two other important factors is they have a fantastic technology that allows them to, to really create a, a one simple user interface to access different banks across Europe and, and transfer money on behalf of, uh, of you know, when buying stuff online. And, and, and thirdly, I would say also, you know, an extremely strong brand and a lot of users, over 10 million users in Germany and over 50% of merchants in Germany using them. So it felt, felt like a, a, a perfect match. Uh, the two companies. Right. So you're a bit of an odd duck in terms of company because you've uh, been around since 2005, but you've been profitable pretty much since the beginning. Um, you've raised quite a lot of capital uh, to count, uh, well, not on the contrary, but to complement that. Um, so what do you see in the future? Do you see like a bigger capital injection, maybe going public at some point? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I actually, we really like being a private company. <laughs> I, I'm always a little bit worried that becoming public will, will force us to be less long-term and, and more short-term in our, in our way of thinking. Uh, we do a lot of heavy investments in, in, in the future because we believe that you know, the banking industry is really about to be disrupted and we want to be one of the major driving forces behind that. And uh, so, so, uh, so that means that we do a lot of investments to prepare ourselves for that. And uh, I'm not 100% sure that you know, a public market would give us 100% uh, credit for, for that and for the opportunity that we see. So it makes, we feel that being private makes a lot of sense. Whether we would raise more money, not sure. I mean, as, as, as you pointed out, we're, we're, we're profitable and, uh, and uh, we can support our own growth. But it might be points when, you know, if we want to do another acquisition or do, do stuff like that, it could mm -hmm. make sense. Right. Um, so, talking about the Stockholm um, startup ecosystem, which you're a, a big part of, um, with a thousand people uh, working for Klarna now and multiple offices, and also moving to a new building together with King. Yes, yeah, right. Uh, soon, I heard. Um, so, how do you uh, see the Stockholm startup scene evolving, or how, how I mean, have you I seen it evolve? If I compare to when I started, you know, uh, many years ago and two years before Daniel started Spotify. Um, so much has happened like there is like there was no supporting ecosystem whatsoever when we started and and I think that that has totally changed today there are a um, number of business angels active that have been in those companies and made some money and can support new ventures uh, there's also a totally different uh, mindset among younger students that I've, I've heard now research that like previously you would ask them would you want to start your own company it would be like five ten percent now it's like seventy percent wants to start their own company. So right. There's a huge mind shift in in Swedish, you know, engineering and economical students and so forth. So you know, a lot of things, and also in Sweden, um, which is usually not a, a a country where you know financial success is seen with uh, something positive, but oh. often as something a little bit strange. <laughs> uh, there's also a mind shift in the sense that people actually now cherish entrepreneurs and find that entrepreneurs is something that is positive. Nice. When change. Least, 10 years ago, that was not a given. Good. And final question. What's your biggest problem right now in terms of growing this business? What keeps you up at night? Uh, oh, um, that's a good question. 
Well, I think, you know, the biggest challenge for me is always that I really love the company and I love all the details of it, so I can get so easily like into the details of stuff. And I really got to keep myself like focused on what's going to be like five years from now, really make sure that we set the company right to, to prepare ourselves for the future. And um, so really about focusing on the, on the longer term stuff and not get too much swallowed of uh, the everyday stuff. Makes sense. Sebastian, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank and you. Best of luck with Klarna. Thank you.